Sven the Slayer here once again with another StarMaid basic logic tutorial. Uh, today we'll be covering pulses and uses for pulses, and you can call them buttons if you like. But they're basically a circuit that is either on or off by default, and when you switch it, it'll toggle really quickly and you can actually adjust the delay. And now's a good time to demonstrate what I went over in last video connecting the two-way activators. So if you have a circuit that has a pulse in it, instead of having multiple buttons, quote-unquote, all connected into an OR, you can just have one button connected to a chain, two-way chain of activators, and you can activate them from anywhere you desire. So uh, let's build these guys real quick. So the first one, the always on, is the most basic. It's uh, real simple. It's an activator block, not delay or. The activator gets wired into the not as well as the or, and then you just go down the line. Not into clock, clock into or, or back into the activator toggle it real quick and you see that it's working. So the next one's a little more complicated. Um, you have to use a non-repeating delay circuit or module whatever um, you want to call it or else you just have a clock. So activator into an OR into non-repeating delay and then at the end you want your NOT. So, activator block gets wired into the OR, OR gets wired into the non-repeating delay, non-repeating delay goes into the NOT, and then the NOT gets wired back into the OR, as well as the activator. Toggle it once, and we now have a working switch. So, what I have here is I have a switch with a one second delay, wired up to a door, as well as a motion detector, the uh, area control trigger. And for a simple automatic door, it will open and close. You know, it's only open for one second as you pass through. So, real nice, easy. Um, if you wired the trigger into the door directly, you would, you might end up closing the door on yourself and it's just buggy. This one will work all the time, every time, always. So I'll show you how to build that. So we start off with the activator, into a knot, and then one second delay into an OR. And then wire it up down the chain, just like the, uh, the first switch over here. So the activator into the knot, as well as the OR, and then down the line and back to the beginning for a switch. And I'll connect this to the door and test it. And now we have an automatic uh, opening closing door open for a second. You can open it for longer if you want, but one second works perfectly for just moving along. And now uh, the last video I demonstrated how you have to have the area control trigger uh, motion detector as I like to call them next to the activator module so we'll just put this up here and then connect to that and let's set a symmetry plane to make this a little easier and put in the trigger front and back and that's it that's all you need to do to make an act uh, automatic door it's very simple and it works really well. So, just get a good look at that, and uh, that'll be it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching.